Tuning in to the greatest podcast out of Atlanta today. We got a very special guest. Young Air. Yeah. For the people that don't know, where you from? Uh, I'm from Cleveland, Ohio. Cleveland, Ohio. And you down here in Atlanta for what a day you say, right? Yeah, just for a day. Quick vacation. For sure. <laughs> what you came down here to network and stuff? Yeah, just to really network, do this interview with you and head back, really get back to work for real. When's when you finna do like a show down here or something like that? Oh, no, no, nah, nah, I ain't have it. No, nah, I ain't have a show oh, down I here. That was you because I remember somebody hearing me from Ohio too. They was like, they finna link up when they come down here, but it was like going on tour with somebody. I, just, I thought that was you, but no, nah, no, that, nah, that one with me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What part of Ohio are you from? Uh, Cleveland, Cleveland, yep. Like, what, what it like is it like, like the city? Yeah, like, I mean, originally I grew up like my childhood days, like on the east side, yeah. and then um. I went to high school like more in the suburb area, so like suburb. Shaker Heights. It's like from mm-hmm. it's like where um, Kid Cudi graduated high school from. Oh, Machine Gun Kelly, like all them type shit. Is it like? Cause the way I see when people say Ohio, I feel like it's like country. Like, you know, your, <laughs> yeah, your, I mean, your neighbors probably like what eight miles away, stuff like that. That's how I always picture Ohio. That's like man. a different part of Ohio. Oh, Cleveland, man. Ohio, more like the that's like the city for real. The city, so. yeah. It look like this, right? Like yeah, yeah, just okay, like yeah, okay. for sure. Yeah, I thought it was just more like, like I said, country. <laughs> no, I feel stuff. like that's what most people think, just like cornfields and shit like that. <laughs> they say cornfield. Yeah, what what you been working on though, music wise? Um, really, I'm just working on the, a lot of singles and stuff, and I'm working on putting together like an album. It's gonna be called Inspired. Inspired. Got that shit tatted on my neck. You got the album tatted on your neck. Yeah, for so, sure. It's official. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So what? What? Who all gonna be on? Is it just gonna be you or? Um, I mean, it's really in the works right now. Like, I really, I had it, like, all together, but I just decided to scrap it and start all over, for real. Because yeah. I wanted to bring the new sound that I got on there. And just bring so, it a whole new way. So you said you had it start all over? So you already had it done? Yeah, I pretty much had it done. Like, I got a whole bunch of songs for it that I could have just put on there. Yeah. But I was like, nah, let me take my time with it and really, like, perfect it the right way, for real. What made you go that route? You didn't feel like them songs were hard enough or what? Not just that, I just wanted to try to bring something different. Like, this new sound that I'm going with, I want to, like, perfect that all the way and just, like, mm-hmm. put out something that I'd be proud to actually put out to the world type shit. Yeah, definitely, most definitely. And you started off SoundCloud, right? Yep. How's it going for you on SoundCloud? Uh, I mean, it's going good. I mean, it's definitely picking up from, like, what it was, like, two years ago, for real. Like, because yeah. I've been, I mean, I've been doing music for a little while, I ain't going to lie, but... Yeah. Just like these last, I say like two, three years, I really started taking it serious. Before it was like I was just just doing shit for it. Like I wasn't Looking like around, taking it that yeah. serious like that. It was just more so like it was always, a hobby. Oh, was you tr- just trying to find your sound? No, nah, like it. I, I mean, yeah, I say I definitely found my sound now for sure. Mm-hmm. But back then it was just more so like I wasn't even really caring that much. It was like, all right, but I'm going to do music when I feel like it. Yeah. But then the sun just clicked. I'm like, no, nah, this is what I'm really supposed to be doing for real. Especially like once my once my cousin died and shit, and he was like, "No, you need to take this shit serious for real. Like, you can make it for real." And when he got killed, I was like, "All right, bet. Let me like really turn up on this for real." Yeah. So what's like you know as an upcoming artist, what are some struggles you going you going through right now? Like in the music industry, trying to blow up and stuff. I mean, I feel like it's the it's the same. Like you know, you get the overlooked shit, you know, stuff. Just basically just that type of shit for real. Yeah. Like with the music side, it's just. People gonna overlook you cause you ain't all the way like where you supposed to be at type shit. But yeah. you just gotta know you that one for real. I know that's me, like for sure. Most like definitely. I know I'm gonna be that. And most definitely, a lot of people don't know as an artist, you gotta now. When I feel like nowadays, you gotta spend a lot of money oh, yeah, to get that sure. attention. You know, that attraction towards your page, which is anything. You know. Yeah, you gotta invest in yourself. You ain't investing, and it's like. Yeah. And you might as well not even step into this music for yeah, real. Definitely, because I feel like back in the day it was like more genuine, where everybody was like, "Hey man, meet my partner and introduce you know build yeah. connections." Nowadays, like everybody don't want to talk to nobody if you ain't got no money, you know. Yeah, I feel like it's still like that to a certain extent. You just got to get around like the right people though. Like sometimes people be definitely on some weird shit. I ain't gonna lie, but you will definitely along the way meet a couple genuine people. Mm-hmm. You know that'll help you out and. Actually believe in you, take put you put point you in the right direction, put you in the right step, yeah. that type of shit. But it's definitely like on some pay to play with this industry for sure. Most definitely, most <laughs> definitely. So how is it in Ohio, like in the underground scene? Like is it is it even 
It ain't shit going on out there. Shit out there. Nah, Y'all be doing no shows or nothing like that? I mean, it be shows, but they not like live like how like LA, Atlanta shows, that type of shit be. So ain't. when the big artists go on tour, do they stop by Cleveland or do they be skipping? If, if they do stop by, it's going to be like at the House of Blues or they going to skip Cleveland and go to like Columbus, which is like the capital of Ohio type the shit. Capital. So they just gone. They gonna go. They gonna go straight there for real. Yeah, I gotta travel all there just to, yeah. get to the show, man. Yeah, yeah that's crazy, man. But I was I know a few artists out there from Ohio, but I just never really asked them about like the music scene out there. I mean, it's a couple people out there, but it's just like I feel like they now in a way that like I'm a like. I, I was, yeah, y'all about to say that because I feel like what I heard from Ohio is more like the street side of the exactly. Yeah, you gonna man. get more like like little dirt type rap shit yeah. like that. It ain't yeah, gonna yeah. be like. This way that I'm doing for real. Do people look at you like what man? You do yeah, some they weird ass music. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they definitely. Ohio not like the type of people that's gonna like gravitate towards the shit I make for real. Yeah. Like they not like that. Like they want to hear like more street music. So I'm definitely like the eyeball coming out of there for sure. I feel like um, alone, especially in Atlanta. You know, come from Atlanta, he opened the doors for Atlanta because Atlanta was like that too for yeah. a point. You know, it's like it was just. The, the street side of music that was taking over, you know, Atlanta, like the 21 Savage, G, oh, yeah. Gucci. But nowadays, like, I feel like this this year, it's all about the underground in Atlanta. No, like, facts. We got too many good artists that are blowing up like crazy. Like, yeah, Atlanta, you know, Atlanta, y'all, y'all definitely got some fire ass artists for sure. Yeah, but the, like I was just telling you before, you know, we started the interview, it's just like, it's just a lot of artists playing that, that role. Like, they're trying to be mysterious, you know? Yeah. Like, I don't even think that's just Atlanta. I think that's just every artist right now. Maybe they all want to just be on some mysterious shit. I mean, Cardi the the dude right now, like he like the number one artist type shit for especially underground artists coming up. Yeah. Like, but I wouldn't even consider him. Un- I mean, yeah, he got a lot of you know he tapped into the underground, but I'm Cardi saying did, like yeah, that's yeah. what they look at is like, oh, yeah, yeah, you feel me? Like that one type shit for them. So like it, they, it's kinda just crazy. Copy like that shit. if somebody would have told you five years ago, like play with Cardi going influence the music industry in, in the late 2020s, you know? You, you wanna like, know it? Hell no. You like, play with Cardi? <laughs> like, fuck no, you know? I don't know. Cardi always been hard, though. But, like, back music. in the day, how everybody was coming out, like, you would never thought, like, Playboy Cardi was finna still yeah, be, yeah. you know I was saying? You know, Playboy Cardi, you know, like, I wouldn't even see that, like, five years ago, like, you know, him being, like, the main, you know? Yeah, yeah. Like, influence everybody. Because even, I feel like he's influenced even, like, the street side of rappers now. Everybody's trying to, like, NBA young boy, you know? Yeah, yeah, he they definitely. painting their nails and, you know, just, like, trying to be that rock star image everybody, I guess. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I could definitely see see that for sure. And especially, like, the underground. Like you said, everybody, like, copying that style, like, where, like, everybody, I don't even, what is it, drip? <laughs> With the rig on, yeah, <laughs> you know, right. just everybody just trying to give it like the um, back in the day. Uh, that's why I was telling somebody Hot Topic was ahead of his time. Yeah, yeah. Cause that's what everybody really kind of in a way, you know. And the, like, on the rock star, yeah, shit. the yeah, rock star sure. shit. That's the new wave and stuff like that. It's definitely. I mean, it's definitely a wave, but I don't know. I feel like I really always fucked with that, like, like you, different shit for yeah. real. Like, I don't know. Like, I just never been like the type of person that just, I don't know, that just like just normal shit. So I feel like. Even in Ohio, like dressing different, all that. Like, I always been like, like, what the hell is you wearing? Like, shit like that. Especially my family, cause like all my family, like they, they all hood as hell. So they like, bro, what oh, the hell you be wearing? Like, with the spikes and shit. Yeah. <laughs> Especially like, like the clothes. Like if I'm coming in Balenci, Rick Owens, all that shit, they gonna be like, bro, like what you doing? They were like, you cutting yourself? <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, yeah, no. Nah. They always think that though, like also emo. Like y'all know, I be telling people, it's, it's levels to that. You know that that type of drill, yeah, like, yeah, like yeah. emo goth and stuff like that, man. You know, just crazy, man. No, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't on that for sure. You ain't on that, <laughs> nah, <laughs> no, nah. definitely, most definitely. Well, so you know, you say you got a project on the way, which is what you consider it like what album or or mixtape? You know? Um, I'm gonna say it's an album for real, cause like I'm really gonna take my time with this one for real. Yeah, like I'm really gonna take my time with it, cause I feel like it's gonna be like. One of the ones for real. Yeah. Like I just know it is. Like this from the new the new shit I've been working on. Like it's like this shit crazy. Like it ain't even like, nothing compared to the, the other shit that's out. Like so it's gonna sound way different from. It ain't gonna sound part. like too different, but it's just gonna be like it's way more tailored. Like I'm taking my time with it for real. like just yeah. perfecting it. And what would you say like your sound is for like people that you know haven't heard your music? Shit, just me. Like I don't know. Like. I just I just get around myself type shit. Like I can't even like 
I ain't gonna put myself in a box because I feel like I can make so much different type of music. Like, I don't really have like one specific sound yeah. for real. Like, I could talk about anything, get on any kind of beat. It don't matter. It's just like what I'm feeling for real. So you could go on the raw way shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, I'm not saying I'm not saying I'm gonna do that, yeah. but if I really chose to, I could. Like, I could really rap on anything for real. You know what's crazy? Like everybody's like, I guess in a way, rapping like um, like um, like. How they be mixing the the beats with the you know the the rock the rock yeah, bands and yeah. stuff like that, but I never really heard like an underground artist like really like more into like trying to build a female fan base you know. Shit. I know one. Yeah. It was just one, and it's a uh, lossy. I don't know if you heard of him. Oh yeah, yeah, I yeah, heard he's, him. Yeah, he's more like in the what he call it sex plug and be or some shit <laughs> yeah. like that. But it just I don't know that I shit kind of fire though. <laughs> he's smart because you got to think about it. Females gonna support you know just. More yeah. crazy than the males. Yeah, well, nah, it just depends because you know I can't really say that because Playboy Cardi is like you know he got eighty percent males and stuff like that. But that's a cult right there. That's yeah, that's a whole nah, different facts. story. I feel like women definitely still support though. Like yeah, well, you know, like you just gotta just gotta go up. It's literally just that simple. If you go to a Broadway concert, that's all you're gonna see. I mean, yeah, it's like it's crazy. He making know? pain music though. Like he make like pain type music, so it's almost like. A resemblance to like R and B and shit. So I feel like that's probably why they fuck with the heavy. Most definitely, most definitely. And you know, you you in this era of underground, how you feel about the whole new sound? Or what you even call it new or clone or what would you call it? Shit. I feel like it's a new sound. It's definitely like a, a new way of going on. I mean I, I fuck with it. I feel with it. So what would you call this era though? Shit. Like cause I feel like people can't say plug because I feel like that was like what, three years ago? Yeah. Plug and type B. shit, yeah. So I, that why I don't know. People just got some crazy names. Like I said, I, I really don't know what to like really call it because I feel like so many artists like like they get on the same type of beat, but everybody doing something different like a little bit too. Yeah. Like I feel like you really got to be like tapped in to like hear the difference. Like maybe sometimes people like they as soon as they hear the beat, they be like, oh that shit is it's exactly the same or something. But like everybody got their own swag a little bit. Because I know um, hyper pop too. I just yeah. never understood. That. I'm over that shit though. You I never, never catch one of the hyper pop beat. You was on that? Yeah, I was definitely for hyper pop bro. for sure. But that's just crazy to me. I don't know. It was like I, I feel like it was a song just sped up. It, yeah. I, it was some <laughs> artist that I heard of. You know, I just, I just never got that genre. Like, yeah, I don't um, even know where it came from. To be honest, it just like popped up, and I seen a lot of artists like, oh, hyper pop, hyper pop. It's the I'm producers, like, bro. Like the produ like to be honest, like the producers, they don't be getting enough credit. Like they the ones who really like push the sound too. Like yeah. if producer is making the same beats over, then you're gonna keep getting the same sound. Every once in a while you got a new producer who come out and he you feel me? Change it a little bit. Yeah. And then the artist, we create something else on it. So yeah. I feel like the producers like they really change the sound up. Like they don't be getting enough credit for real. Well definitely. And since we talking about producers, who you go to producer? Shit. I I fuck with like a lot of producers. Um right now I've been fucking with um Shine Moonlight. Um, Liquid, uh, trying to think. That name sound familiar. Liquid who? Uh, I mean, on IG to go by Liquid Hearts. He do a lot of different shit though, like not just oh, producing, but somebody, yeah. yeah. Um, bro, I got so many damn producers. I don't really want to like miss no names for real, and they be like, "Damn, you feel me? Like you ain't fucking with me." Like, oh, damn. so I like, blessed you with a beat, you ain't shout me. <laughs> you know. <laughs> but so no. how you go about choosing your beats though? Like, is it a certain Type of beat you looking for, or you more like you say because you you try to go the versatile way. So how, yeah. how you choose your beats? More so, just like when I hear it, if it's just if I'm just like feeling it, like I'm more so specifically just like set out and be like, oh, I'm only gonna go for this style type shit. Mm -hmm. It's just more so like if I feel it and I hear it, I'm gonna rap on it, like mm -hmm. for sure. Like that's really it. So what like so so. Like when you be in Ohio, do you got your own like personal studio or like how to? Yeah, I mix and master all my own shit, record myself. Everything you hear that's put out, I did all myself. So let me ask you, it's like the era of like, you know, you linking up with the producers and you know, just cooking up for hours. Is them, is they, 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 do a lot of artists still do that or more like, because I know a lot of people meet through social media, like yeah. a lot of artists that I met so far, they be like, oh, we met through social media, we met through social media, and they be like, you know, we just send each other our verses right. through emails or, you know, text or whatever. And it's like, you know, I, I started to see like more and more people like, you know, like kind of just work, network yeah. through, through social I feel, media. I feel like with the, like, I don't, I don't think it's dead though. Like I feel like linking up and like, oh, that shit definitely make the music, well, can make the music like a lot better as well. 
But I feel like, yeah, exactly. I feel like right now it's just more so that like everybody be from different areas and shit for real. Like for me, for example, like I'm currently living in Ohio. So like I can't come out to Atlanta all the time to, you feel me, like cook up with a producer. Like yeah. in person or whatever. Who who's a producer that you want to work with though? Um, shit. I mean, I feel like Metro for sure. Like Metro, a goat. Like you saying like underground or I like mean, yeah, it could be mainstream. And underground. Yeah, like I feel like mainstream, like Metro. Metro. Um, who else I really want to work with? Bro, so many producers, bro. Um, I'm trying to think, man. I really can't think out the top of my head. I literally got to like, yeah, go look that shit up for real. Yeah. But what's like a one main, uh, not main, but underground producer that you know you you just been hearing all over the underground? Like, damn, I want to work with him. Shit, I feel like I've been hearing Barlow's a lot, but mm-hmm. I got some shit with him though. Like, I got hella shit with him for real. I just ain't out yet. But uh, yeah, I mean, we he's, got. He's got it tucked in a vote. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> it's crazy. I man. got. I think I got one song out with him for real. Like one song that's released already. But he hard. I fuck with his beats for sure. Most definitely, most definitely. And speaking about the vote, how many songs would you say you got locked in the vote? Oh my gosh, bro. A lot. Yeah, I ain't even gonna say the number for real. But is it like throwaways or is it like finish, finish song? Like a lot of them be finished. It's just like for like say I'll be in the moment, like I'm, I'm fucking with it, and then I'll be like maybe time passed, and I'm just not like feeling like that no more or something, mm-hmm. or it's just like I don't know, like that time passed, and it's just like it ain't hitting for me how it was, or I just be like, oh shit, I'm gonna put it on the project, and I just I'm just holding it type shit yeah. to just give it out the right way. Cause sometimes I be feeling like I don't be wanting to like rush giving out the songs. Like I want to take time to actually like perfect them. Cause again, I do everything myself. Like I don't use an engineer, none of that. Like I'm my own engineer, oh, yeah. all that. So I take my time with my work. I yeah. want to make sure whatever I put out is like perfected to how I feel. Most definitely, man. And I feel like, I don't know, like you say, like, you know, you want to perfect the song and stuff, but what if you really got a gem in your vote and you don't never know until you release it? That's the thing. I feel like artists, we really like our own worst critics for real. Yeah. Like, cause sometimes you just be over overthinking it for real. Because, yeah. like, it be sometimes, like, I'll post a snippet and my fans, they be like, bro, like, drop that shit. And I be like, it ain't, it ain't even finished to me yet for real. So yeah. I'd rather just like wait and just put it out when it's done. Cause I done seen labels do that a lot too. Like, you know, they push this, so you know, the album for yeah. these artists and they put so money behind this, this single for yeah. them to promote the tape. And sometimes the single be ads and, nah. like, <laughs> and they go with the least song they promoted, but like, oh, that shit blew up. And I'm no, like, damn. That's how it be though. Like you really yeah. don't know what, what song gonna be the one. But I feel like nowadays, like the label got the power to force shit on you, bro. I mean, yeah, they got, again, like we was talking about earlier, it's that, the money behind them. Yeah, it's like, man, they literally like grocery store, mall, anything you go, yeah. man. It's just crazy. And I, I, I done witnessed it a couple times, with, uh, especially with like uh, Blueface when we had that Tatiana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That shit was, and I'm, I'm going to keep it 100. Like, at first I was like, this shit is ass. <laughs> then after I heard it like everywhere, it, I kind of like, okay, this shit hard. Yeah, like, what the hell? <laughs> But I don't know if it's that like so you know mind yeah. mind fuck that they doing with the music It's just like damn I, I can't even answer that one I don't know <laughs> especially like I know the recent one it was Ice Spice that oh, one yeah, the yeah, one song yeah. she just had that shit was like what the fuck yeah you heard that everywhere, everywhere, everywhere especially like, on TikTok and all that especially these little kids I see my nephew just scrolling that's all I hear y'all like God damn like <laughs> every time you swipe up that's all you hear yeah yo. but um you know TikTok came out with well, they they ain't, they didn't come out they got exposed because you know when they were trying to shut it down yeah, a band yeah. from the United States they had like a little court meeting or whatever and the dude fucking like he told like them like we got a hot button but man, like basically they could like blow you the fuck up around what? the world like. In nah, that's crazy. I ain't hear about that one. Yeah, like I like man, cause the labels, you know, they got they got plugged to it, but I'm pretty sure they charge them yeah, a lot yeah. for that. But man, they could blow you up. The way they said yeah, it, like sure. they could blow you up in literally like ten seconds. They prove. I mean, they prove it over and over again, though. Like yeah. a lot of shit don't even be organic. Like it don't. You said some stuff right there, cause it really don't. Cause the TikTok, I feel like it ruined music. Yeah, just be real. Like, like people think like, oh, I got a 15 second hit song on TikTok. Yeah, I, I feel like a lot of that's what happened with a lot of artists. Like, they just they get on a TikTok and they see the the algorithm pushing them, and they feel like, oh, I got this buzz. 
But then they get onto the the ticket and, sales and Instagram, shit. Instagram, yeah, and yeah. And they realize oh, like not lying with the ticket sales. The fans ain't really there. I done seen the show in Atlanta where like you would think, oh, this shit gonna sell the fuck out, yep. man. Not even two hundred people came. I'm like <laughs> that. That, that should give everything. y'all. That should give y'all like a, a a reality check. Like I really don't. I really not popping how I think I am. You I know, mean, high key, yeah, yeah. Then you know, they, you know, artists. Some artists gonna be in their feelings and gonna blame the promoter. Yeah, oh, yeah. you you did on this day, man. This 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 and that. Like now, nah, man. Like shit, you were popping. Your name, if you so, if you say you popping, your name should bring out people. You know. I mean, yeah. I, I feel like that could definitely work. You know, in in a sense, it could work on a promoter too, but. Yeah. I definitely get out of how the artists feel. But if too. you like summon like the whole Avengers of the Underground type oh, shit, if okay, you ain't yeah, selling yeah. like, yeah. oh man, you said the Avengers. <laughs> you feel me? Like that's just crazy. Well, yeah. not the Avengers, but like the I ain't gonna say like they all the way popping, yeah, yeah, but yeah, man, yeah. they doing like thousands of streams by the songs, videos, everything they put yeah, out. Yeah, you know, nah, just facts. you just crazy, man. You know your uh, what was that? Your cameraman, did you live right? Yeah, yeah. Like, okay. Oh, who, who's like another person that you want to work with? Like, um, cause I know I, I hear a lot that everybody wants to work with a Code Minute. Like, oh yeah, yeah. Um, I really f- I fuck with like, um, GMP. I do fuck with Code Bennett. Um, I fuck with Nirvana. I like his videos a lot. Um, shit. That's I mean, right now that I could think of like them like the three I really fuck with to be honest. Yeah. Cause like, where I'm trying to go to right now, like. I just shot a video to the song that I got out. It's called um, Go Yard Bag. Down here in Atlanta? Uh, no, I actually shot it in Ohio, to be honest. Uh-huh. Um, but I'm really trying to move towards more like cinematic videos, like, mm. and less like just rapping in the camera. Yeah. Like, I'm trying to like actually Put make. Put a story with you, like, like, in a way? Like, you know, like, just like, yeah, exactly. Like a story in a sense, but more so like where it's less like just rapping in the camera type shit. Like, I want to actually just have it. Cause bro, like everything I do, like I'm always thinking like big type shit. Like, oh, yeah. cause I know where I want to be and where I can be with the right work put into it. So I feel like everybody around me, like whoever coming to my circle, like I want them to be on the same wavelength, like to know, like bro, we can actually like do this shit for yeah, real. Definitely. It's it's more than possible. I didn't mm-hmm. seen it. Like I I definitely seen it. I done interview everybody before <laughs> the fame no, in fact. six months. Uh, like yeah, six months to a year, they're like, damn, they're selling our shows. You know, not everybody's selling our shows, but at least yeah. they're making money of what they love. You know, that's why exactly. we're telling people like, I feel like everybody right now they're trying to look up to like, um, well, not I can't say like them type of artists, but I feel like everybody's trying to look up to like Lil Baby because he's like more on the flashy side yeah, of, the, yeah, yeah. of the cards, the jewelry, the right. money, and stuff like that. So everybody want to be in that level yeah, of, yeah. of success. But I'm like, man, I feel like my in my head, like success is just like. As long as you making money out of what you love, you know. Yeah, for sure. And you know you're not really out here like on your like you know you leave your nine to five job alone and you just come on that's a blessing like no you, facts yeah you money definitely off a blessing rapping like that's exactly. crazy man because I mean music is really all I love to do like this shit is my like daily consistent like yeah. that's all I do is music like there's nothing else that I focus on because I'm trying to just keep perfecting my craft and get better like mm-hmm. I feel like for me it's only like. It's only up for real, like, cause I feel like over time I just have improved instead of like declining, like. So I feel like in the long run it's just like I could just see myself being around, to be honest. Yeah, and you know, you as an upcoming artist, like, what would you say some mistakes you did, like, you like just anything, like, the, as an artist, like, you pay for a feature or like, or just some crazy shit that you regret. Mm. That you probably bought like spending a whole bunch of money on a beat, like you just you know just some just a mistake that you know you. I like, feel like the worst thing to more so do as an artist is probably just not like putting your money towards the right shit in a sense. Like mm-hmm. maybe not spending on promotion, but you going you like I see a lot of rappers do that shit all the time. They go and spend they they money on the wrong shit, like clothes. Like how you gonna get clothes, but then you ain't gonna put it a bag behind your promoting yourself or putting your shit out there. That shit's so backwards to me. Yeah, you said you said so, some stuff right there because I didn't see people got a big feature. Yeah, and it's like that shit ain't doing numbers. I'm exactly. like, you know why? You ain't putting no money you behind the, the market. Yeah, nah, you know you, exactly. Yeah, like yeah. so I say that's probably like the shit I did early on. But again, that come from like just learning. Like mm-hmm. you ain't gonna just get out here and know that right away unless you got somebody yeah. mentoring unless, you. Unless you sign, exactly. You know, they like, like tell that. you like, man, put your money this and that. But I feel like with the promo, to me, I, I see that's 50-50, right? Yeah. I'm explaining. 
50, the other 50 is because it's good for you. You know, you're getting promotion, recognition. Exactly. Everybody's looking like, who's this, who's this, you know. But the other 50, I'm like, it's not organic no more. Yeah, no. Nah. Once you start seeing it all over the different, like, you know, these other pages, I'm like, oh, okay, man. Like, yeah, this shit ain't yeah. genuine, man. Yeah, you know? yeah, like, no, nah, facts. But that's back to what I was saying about, like, the ticket sale thing. Because it's like, that's why I be, like, really trying to do shit organic. <clears throat> like, that's why I'm, like, taking my time really, like, trying to perfect it. Like, I feel like all my fans, like, who are actual fans, like, they so in tune with my shit. Like, yeah. I don't know. It's like, I, I just can't see myself, like, feeling from that, bro. Because it's like, I'm actually taking my time and, like, I'm listening to they, actually listening to their feedback, you yeah. know? Like, they, I'm not just, posting, posting. exactly. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm not just, like, I'm still doing what I want to do because I'm, you feel me? At the end of the day, it's, it's my choice. I'm an artist. <laughs> but I still listen to them and be like, what y'all are fucking with, what I dropped, all that. So, I don't know. I feel like that's as organic as it can get right there. Like, but, you, but like that kind of like some artists kind of like take that shit to the head and it'd be like when they start saying like, hey, man, you fell off. You know, that's what the artists be like. What's, yeah. Like, you know, that's when they, it's, yeah, it's a few artists right now just going through that stage. Yeah, yeah. Like they getting hate. Like right now, they like going crazy on Trippy Red. Yeah. And that's fucked up because to me, the album that he just dropped, man, that shit is fire. I know? haven't even, I didn't even check it out, but. It's just the hate train. Like, you never know. Like, one day, everybody, go, you know, love you. And the no, next day, facts. everybody wake up. And it's like, facts. oh, fuck you. You know, like, your that's shit true, ass. True. Like, it's just, that's to me, like, that's fake fans. It's like support. Like, you just going by one. It could be one YouTuber or somebody be like, oh, he ass. Yeah. And they just ride that wave like, oh yeah, he ass, he ass, you know. That's true. I, I, I could I could see both sides of that for sure. It's like it's I don't know. I feel like this era just like it ain't no more leaders, just like oh, followers. No more followers. Like everybody sure. just go by one you could do one mistake. And that's what I hate about like everybody be like, You stay talking about the baby, but that's just crazy to me that <laughs> he fucked up. Don't get me yeah. wrong, he fucked up, but <laughs> You seen the shows, the concert, like the, the they, one where he was like on the stage or whatever. Not like how like they started like one by one banning him like from Rolling oh, Loud shoot. from this oh, and that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember and it's that, like yeah. a week later went by. Oh, the baby just got booted off this this uh, <laughs> festival. I'm like, man, come on, like y'all y'all, y'all following. Even these big companies are followers. You know, like it's just crazy, man. Like man, we live in an era where like the freedom of speech is gone. The cancel culture is getting stronger by the day, man. <laughs> You they could go up in all your old Twitter or, or MySpace or whatever Facebook and then be like, oh, he said this about this person. Yeah. Oh, he talked about these type of people and it's just career gone. I mean, yeah, that's why you just gotta <coughs> you gotta be careful what you put out to the world for real though. Yeah. Like when you get to that level, everything is young under- though. You feel me? Because I, I I tell you, my face will go crazy with some crazy <laughs> shit. You know, they, they they always try to use the most, like, I don't know, man. They just, I feel like the cancel culture is just like, it's a whole bunch of depressed people that's like, they don't they don't love themselves up, but like, oh, you successful? We're going to bring your ass down with us, man. I feel you like know? there's definitely some people like that, of course. Like, there's always going to be people Cause that want to re- do that. What's the reason for you to cancel somebody, you know, like? Yeah, I mean, if they ain't, if they ain't hurting you in a sense, but. I understand some people do deserve to get canceled. Like, if they committed a crazy ass crime, yeah, then yeah, yeah cancel yeah. their ass. Like, For fuck sure. them, you know. But if you messed up and said some shit from back in the day, like, it's just crazy, man. And like I said, these companies will follow right or wrong. Like, with these these supporters, I'm like, man, that shit just crazy, man. Yeah, it's definitely like, that's why you just gotta. I mean, at the end of the day, like I said, like, well, just speaking on myself, like, I'm going to take advice from, like, my fans and shit like that, but I'm still going to do what I choose to do at the end of the day. It's just, like, I'm just taking it in and, like, just hearing it, but it, that's not going to be, like, the ultimate, ultimate decision. At the end of the day, you do what you're supposed to do as your own man. Like, yeah. you got to stay on your own team for real. Well, like, definitely. whatever you choose to do, you just got to be ready for whatever consequence that is, to be honest. So. Most definitely, most definitely. And, you know, um, how how you like it so far in Atlanta? Right. I, I fuck with Atlanta. Like this like my like my third or fourth time coming out here. Yeah. Like I don't know. I, I fuck with Atlanta but Would you move out here? Like, hell probably, no. not, like, <laughs> like, hell, <nah. laughs> probably not. Like probably not. But I do But fuck why with, not though? Because the opportunity is here. No uh, unless Ohio got something bigger than No, nah, really I'm really trying to move to New York though. Mm. Like <laughs> I fuck with New York. Hey man, you try to go where it's more expensive, yeah. man. <laughs> hey, I, I don't know. I I really love fashion shit, and I just love the culture out there. Like everybody out there, I don't know. It's just real too. Like Atlanta, yeah. real as fuck too. I'm not gonna lie. It's just like I like. It's real with when you dress like 
like you know how in yeah. the underground man they be like hell no nah. everybody I don't really fuck with that either so much. Nah, I fuck with it, but I'm just saying like in Atlanta they don't. Like, oh okay. They're okay. more like on that dope boy, you know like yeah 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 yeah. They they gonna have the designer, you feel me? Okay, like okay. they ain't gonna be on that crazy fashion, you know like with you know yeah, like I was yeah, saying yeah. like with the ripped up jeans and everything. Just like, like so you go to New York, you gonna see them dressed like how I am or like something crazy like. But I don't know. I fuck with it because like everybody kind of like out there, they just be in their own world. Like, yeah. but I don't know. I, I fuck with Atlanta though. Like, bro, y'all got some good ass chicken wings. So. He said chicken wings. <laughs> chicken wings. We got some good food, but he like okay. the drip ain't here, bro. <laughs> like the drip ain't here. Don't get me wrong, bro. Like I always wanted to go to New York too. Like I feel like um probably next year. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. think I finna um I finna put some money together and um. Cause I got, I don't really want to say my idea on the podcast because I got a lot of, oh, I ain't gonna say enemies, but it's just like big platforms that okay, they okay. steal my my sauce and shit like that. It's just, just crazy, that. man. But I'm going on like a little small little tour, but okay. it's gonna be crazy when I do these interviews. It's gonna be like just next level crazy. That's like, fire. That's fire. It's gonna be some off the wall, like man. I'm telling you, like damn. But yeah, New nah. York is definitely like one of my go to spots. No, nah, yeah, New, like I ain't gonna lie, like if I'm not in Ohio, I'm probably in New York for real. Like I fuck with out there, like mm-hmm. heavy. Like, I'm not going to lie. Like, New York is, like, one of those spots where if I go there, I come back with, like, hella shit to talk about for the music. Like, I don't know. I'll just be having to, like, I don't know. I got to do shit first. Like, I got to do shit, come back, have something to talk about. Like, I don't know. I can't just, like, I got to live first, bro. Like, I don't know. Like, I, how, how old you is? I'm 26. So, 26. like, right now I'm just trying to, like, you feel me? Like, keep expanding. Like, it's a lot that I want to do for real. People say, like, what is the age limit you stop as being an underground artist? Or even, like, I don't know how to kind of say it in a way. Like, what you, I don't know if you, if you get what I'm trying to say. Yeah, like, if you too old type yeah. shit. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I feel like, for me, I don't really even consider myself, like, specifically underground. Like, I just make music. Yeah. Like, it's like, if I'm underground right now, that's but cool. But you know, the underground, there's a lot of, like, young fans, you feel Yeah, me? yeah. Well, no, don't get fans. me wrong, every big art, every yeah, big artist exactly. got young fans. It, to me, yeah. I, I feel like nobody should just be like, oh, you got young fans. I mean, like, you, I could have any type of fans, you know? Exactly. Like, it ain't no got it ain't no limit or rules to like, hey man, nah. you can only have this certain fans right here. Exactly. Like, I mean, from my example, I mean, my favorite artist is Future. Like, yeah. Look at Future, bro. He's still inspiring everybody. Like yeah, he got literally. everybody: yellow, green, black, exactly. white. I mean, oh, and young. he go People to India and sell out, man. Exactly. Future could go to India and sell out. It's just crazy, man. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. But so. yeah, it's just a lot of people, especially um, I think they got that from Lil Uzi, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah. They be like, oh, you like 29 or something? Oh, you old head now? <laughs> what the fuck? Like, yeah, no. Nah, I feel I, like 30 is still young. You feel me? No, nah, definitely, definitely for sure. Like I don't know. I feel like live out your dreams, bro. Like you can't. Do stuff like based off what other people's opinions are. Like, yeah, I feel like everybody's starting to feel like that because like the industry is looking for like these young TikTokers. Exactly. Like they be like 13, 14 year olds. Exactly, you know? and that's why they make mistakes. They still got a lot of yeah. growing to do mentally, besides just the artistic side too. Yeah, like and and, uh, and I, I I be talking to these labels and I know why they be going for the young, you know, because yeah. they. <laughs> Like business wise, yeah. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna call them stupid, but they're not fully there exactly. developed where like they know the business are rip. Like exactly, you know. So these labels, you know, these labels ain't want the money, man. No facts. They, they, they they gonna get you any kind of contract, you know, to exactly. satisfy you and put some money in your pocket. And they then gonna be like, you like, good? Yeah, like you good, and they gonna make all I, the money. I need uh, the day I sign, I need some M's. Like I'm not going yeah. for no little bread. Like I need M's, bro. Like I, generational wealth. That's what I'm trying to build. And what's, you said generational wealth, so what's your uh, definition of success? Just being able to, like, take care of my whole family, like myself and my family, for real. And just being comfortable, like, not having to think about nothing. Like, I just wake up and be like, I do this and I ain't got to think about it. Most definitely. So when you blow, you ain't gonna get no phone calls from for cousin. They don't know, <laughs> hey cousin. <laughs> I probably will. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna answer though, but <laughs> it'd be crazy. I man. probably will. Depends on who that cousin is for sure. Depends on the cousin, man. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> like Ohio, I'm about to ask you about um. You say they, they like the um underground shows. They don't really be having them like that. They do, but it, that, it's it's so rare. Like if they do it, it's don't be like the right. Like I said, like the right people in a yeah. sense. Like I don't know. It, it the shows just don't. Let's say don't if I throw like a show that. out there, will it will people come out? 
if, if, if you, is there fans out there? Like, I it's definitely it's fans out there, but again, it's like it's so low key. Like, yeah, I'm not explaining. It's like the like again, like the sound that you hear me on, or like maybe mm-hmm. other people that you fuck with. Like, for for in the underground, I, I don't know. Like, it's not that many artists out there for that yeah. sound. I say like it it'll be a good number, but I don't know if it's gonna be like the craziest underground show. Oh like, no, I ain't trying to like, you know, like ten thousand and a thousand. Yeah, yeah, if you yeah, get yeah. like to me, I feel like you get like two to five hundred people there. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's some shit. You get a couple fire artists on there, I feel like yeah, for yeah. sure. Like you could do something like Cause that. Cause there's a lot of these states, like you said, Ohio and he just does these like low key states that like yeah. you know they gotta travel like to New York, to Atlanta, to Florida, just you know Especially like Alabama, like you know, you ain't having no fucking underground show in Alabama. Oh, you for know? real? Yeah, no. <laughs> it's some Alabama artists, but to have a like you know a, a show in Alabama, yeah. like hell no, it ain't heard of, you know. I ain't that. I'm not that hip to Alabama, but See, I be paying attention. But I be like, that's one of my goals, like um, touch these you know states, yeah, you know, yeah, counties and little cities and stuff. Like that's fine. Like you said, have a fire lineup and try yeah. to see. What I could do, like sell out. We we'll go to the show with like five people. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, man, they cancel. You what you let me cancel that show? <laughs> hey, man, the artist didn't make it, man. He got a flat tire, man. It's, it's over with, man. No, that's crazy. I return y'all money. <laughs> go ahead and send the refunds back. Remember, remember that time they tried to play Smoke Perk for that shit? Oh, uh, yeah, I seen that's that. That's crazy. Yeah. But I don't care. I would have went out there. If I still got paid and I got my money, hit my, they wired the money to me. I'm like, I don't give a fuck how I many mean, people out there. If he got paid, then I I mean, I guess, but that is crazy though. Like but I wasn't expecting that. It's just like people weighing on that downfall. It's just so crazy. I mean, yeah, bro. you can't really like predict what people are gonna do. Like I don't know. Like that, that's a shitty ass situation to be in for sure. But also, like I don't know. I just feel like you gotta you gotta just keep working, bro. You gotta. I feel like dudes get on and they just don't work like how they was when they first had that. Nah, they, get, they get that clout and just you yeah. Know that. And they just forget about that. They don't follow everybody. (laughs) (laughs) They're like, they got like, uh, they got a couple hundred thousand followers with zero followers. It's just crazy. (laughs) I'm like, damn. They unfollow everybody that helped them get up there. You know, they just be crazy. Me personally, I don't have a problem with with the the following account shit. Me neither. Like, I I mean, if I see you in person, like, yeah, I'm going to speak to you and shit like that. But it's just like, a follow is a follow. Yeah. I think we live in a society where like social media is like really becoming a part of our life. And people take yeah. that shit to the heart. Yeah, for sure. They pull yeah. up on you like, hey man, you don't follow me? You're like, what the <laughs> Like, damn, hey, bro, right. was that serious? A fam, like, you've been following me for two years and you hit, finally yeah. hit this mountain following you, don't follow me? Like, that shit be crazy. I be like, man. Before we head out, man, anything else um you want to promote? Um, Really, I just want to say I got a the video to go yard back coming out. That was on my um, Hallucinate EP mm-hmm. or whatever. That's how I'm doing pretty good, so... I'm about to drop a video to that and shit just keep working on Inspire for real. Definitely got to keep up with the visuals, man. For sure. I fuck with your visuals. Man. I appreciate that, bro. Yeah, yeah. And I often ask you, I heard about you, I think on, um, what the fuck I heard from you? I was a, That was like one of those nights I just like, I was deep searching SoundCloud. Yeah. Bro. Is it, it cause like when I, when I say deep, like I be on SoundCloud and I hear like, I click on like on Tana. And that's trying kind to of lead me to another artist, another oh, artist. Oh, like suggestions? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, it's just yeah, crazy. Yeah. I'm just like, I'm giving you a chance. Like, yeah, see, yeah. one thing about me, a lot of people be like, man, you interviewed. That, that's why I just had an own thing. I ain't going to say his name, but it was a big platform. Kind of like threw a shot at me. Like, these platforms just interview anybody. I'm like, bro, if it wasn't for me, I would have never interviewed Destroy Lonely, Glock, yeah. or Don Corleo. Like, I had these people before they even have 6,000 followers. You feel me? No, like, facts. And I take the chances because I see, like, right now I see that you traveling. You're yeah. putting out music, you know? So, you know, that that work, at that, I know, like, in six months, oh, yeah, he going to go up, you know? For sure, for sure. <clears throat> and, then like, people just feel like, I like, man, you don't always got to go by people's followers. And then, no, like, some, yeah. some some big platform look at your followers be like, I ain't trying to interview him. No, he ain't facts. popping. He ain't got no clout. What he going to do for my platform? Yep. That's how they see it. For sure. For me, I feel like both of us are building ourselves up, you yeah. know? Yeah. And I, pre- I definitely appreciate you. And that's bro. why everybody come to me. Like, you see, like, all the, you know, up-and-coming artists that's in the SoundCloud, not from Atlanta, like, you yourself, you know, yeah, come yeah. down here. Like, they just come out here and show me love because they be like, yeah, man, I'm trying to get, you know, you to do my first interview and shit like that. Oh, that's you know? fire. That's and hard. they just mean like I don't care about clout like you know that yeah. just, you know this is just crazy to me but like I said we live in a society we do you know no that that's definitely true but I, I definitely appreciate you 
tapping in with me for real. Hell yeah. I definitely didn't watch your interviews before, so that's definitely fire to yeah. be on here for sure. Well, definitely. I appreciate it. Man, that shit, I'm telling you. You got whenever you come back, I hope hopefully the live stage performance thing is gonna be popping, man. That'd like, be hard. Oh, it should be up and ready. But yeah, man. One thing, one more thing before we head out, uh, what's the three things you gotta have on a studio session? Um shit. Um really I personally I like peace and quiet to be honest. So I can just focus to be honest. Mm-hmm. I don't really need like a hundred people in the studio session with me. A bottle of water, because I'll be getting thirsty as fuck. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and shit, um, I don't even know. A third thing? Really, sh- shit, I don't really need a third thing, to be honest with you. Like, that's it. Mm-hmm. I'll just, I just be oh, getting there. I get straight to work, bro. Like, I don't need So you want peace and quiet? Yeah, you, for Oh, sure. you be putting that Mozart light on those candles. Oh, you be lighting them candles, huh? <laughs> no, I'll fuck with the candles. I'll fuck with the candles. <laughs> yeah, the got the whole smell. I probably had, a, like had marshmallows. A had the LEDs on or some shit like that. That's about it. It was definitely, it was definitely, man. You know, appreciate you for coming out here showing love, man. I appreciate you too, bro. Yeah, yeah, we out. That's 350.